In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the effects panel in InDesign. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, if um, you don't have the effects uh, panel on here, is go up to Window, go down to Type, uh, sh shoot, sorry, <laughs> just go to Effect. It should be right there. Um, click it, and it'll pop up. Um, so what I want to do, I have these uh, sunflower seed graphics on here. Um, I just kind of want them to interact a little bit differently with um, the background. So what I'm going to do is um, I opened up the effects panel, and right now they're just normal. So that means they're just opaque. There's no kind of interaction going on there. Um, so if you click on that, it'll show up a whole list of different options. And um, my personal favorite is Multiply. Um, that's the one I know the most about just because I use it so much. But it basically causes an interaction between uh, the two layers. So it's going to create an interaction between this blue and yellow and the red background. Um, so if I click Multiply, you can see that it changes. Um, and you can just go through and like kind of mess around with it a little bit until you kind of get an effect that you like. Um, so I'm going to change both of these to multiply. Um, but you can also change like the opacity in this panel. Um, and you can also go down here and access these other effects. Which you can also, if you right click on your shape, go to effects and those also pop up. And so does transparency. So that's all stuff you can access here as well. So there's a couple ways to get to it. Um, but I think it's easiest just to have the transparency window open. It's a little bit more accessible and easy. But, um, so yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching.